feel like I've I watched this being born at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm glad we're talking about this piece. Um, with all your work, the objects themselves seem to be the focal point. Mm -hmm. And yet, I don't want to dismiss what you're doing with color. Um, so whatever you'd like to tell us about this, I wonder if you can at least speak in part to uh, your choices with color and how you're manipulating it. Sure. Um, so this particular blue as well as the red orange in the last piece come from a particular family of compounds called azo or azo, I've heard it pronounced both ways, but it's a synthetic organic compound and most of them are byproducts of mining. So there was this, after the Industrial Revolution, there was an explosion of really bright, intense colors that we had never had before as artists, or in fabric dye, or whatever, right? Look how lucky we are. Yeah. Um, and so this particular blue, uh, which reminds me of some of my favorite places, and as far as rivers and alpine lakes and places I like to spend my time, and you know, you want to dive in, but there's also this kind of, uh, there's a there's a flip side to that you know yeah. that this color is also like comes from a very toxic um, you know process uh, but stripping the earth of, of its ore and minerals and you know these these it's often talked about these like how beautiful these mining tailing pools are you know and I, I just imagine uh, you know you it's like even the uninitiated would look at it and you know, just like, oh wow, beautiful, yeah. but you wouldn't drink But it. also, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Um, so just to continue with this idea of toxicity, um, does the bow then factor in? Um, yeah, again, I chose it originally just because it's such a beautiful, strong horizontal when put like this and reminds me of like nautical um, apparatuses. And, like it reminds me of both forms, but the bow is also, you know, for certainly for my dad's generation, this was probably the first weapon that you got as a, as a boy, you know, you get your pocket knife and then you get this. And it's also, you know, a kind of strange form of cultural appropriation. Yeah. You know, and you'd graduate to a gun or a rifle from this, you know, a shotgun or something. And then, you know, that, that to me is kind of an interesting, you know, underbelly to the graceful, you know, line and the beauty of the wood and everything. There's like this weird kind of... Mm. Yeah, it's intriguing when you put this narrative together of the color and the bow itself. Yeah. Uh, thanks a bunch. Thank you. Mm -hmm.